Welcome back to another episode of Sirat News, where we presented scientific cases about microbial. My name is Ella, and my name is Bill. Let's take a look at today's case. A 35-year-old man arrived at a local hospital in Nakhon Rajasima in northeast Thailand with a complaint of right upper abdominal pain and yellowish discoloration of the skin. The symptom appeared over the course of seven months. His wife attributed his illness to his habits of consuming undercooked fish, and her speculation seemed to be relevant after all, as repeated stool examination reveals the presence of eggs of the Southeast Asian liver fluke, scientifically known as Opisthorchus viverini. Well, that's the end of today's case. So let's talk, take a look at some information about the disease. The liver fluke of h i s t o r c h i s viverini is a species of flatworm found mainly in northeast Thailand, Laos, Cambodia, and Vietnam. They are about 5 to 10 millimeters in length. o h i s t o r c h i s viverini is transmitted to human after ingestion of undercooked freshwater fish that contains the fluke's infective larval stages known as m e t a s e r c a r i Once inside the body, the fluke ascends to mature in the bile duct. Where it causes chronic inflammation and obstruction of the biliary duct system, which leads to yellowish discoloration of skin, known as jaundice. This also increases the risk for gallstone formation as well as bile duct cancer. After fertilization, eggs are laid in the bile duct and released with bile into the intestine, and finally excreted along with feces. If the contaminated feces are disposed of improperly into fresh water. The eggs can be ingested by freshwater snails, where they undergo several developmental stages, pass onto fish, and then back to human, which completes their life cycle. The prevention of liver fluke is pretty straightforward. Make sure that freshwater fish is adequately cooked to an internal temperature of at least 65 degrees Celsius. However, if you ever become infected, good news is that. Very effective anti-hemolytic medications are available, which ensure almost 100% elimination of flukes. So that's for today, and thank you so much for your attention. Please don't forget to follow and like our page, s i r a t PR, and we'll be back again in another episode. For today, bye bye. bye, -bye.